Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your iPad Pro. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go through the complete setup here with your iPad Pro. Now, if you haven't turned it on yet, just take the top button here, press and hold on that until you see the Apple logo appear. Once the iPad turns on, it should do something like this. And at that point, you can just swipe up to unlock the iPad. From this page, we're just going to select our language. You're gonna select the country. It may already pop up with the country you're from. You're gonna tap on that. Now you can set this up manually, or if you have another iPad or an iPhone, you can just bring it close by and it'll pop up like this with the option for you to set it up with your other device. But we're gonna set it up manually and a lot of the steps will be the same. You'll just follow a couple more steps if you set it up with your other iPad. So we'll tap set up manually and you're going to choose your Wi-Fi network here, enter in the Wi-Fi password, and then tap join. And as you can see, it may take a few minutes here to activate your iPad. From here, it's just letting you know about data and privacy, so you can read through this and tap continue. You can set up Face ID, which we'll do. Uh, you can choose to do that later if you want as well. So we'll tap continue, and you can see on screen, I'll do my best to show you, but you're basically going to turn your head and kind of get it into this screen. So we'll tap get started. And you can see right there, hopefully, my head is in the screen. And you're just kind of turning your head the best you can. Like it's really hard for me on camera here to do this, but, but there it is, it's completed. And now it's going to do the second scan after you tap continue. Now you're gonna put your face again in the screen here and you're just going to turn it around the second one was much quicker for me. So that's how you set up Face ID. You can also do this in your settings later and anything that we set up here, you can do in your settings as well later on. So we'll tap continue. You can set up a passcode. Now you can set up a six digit passcode here or you can tap passcode options where you can choose an alphanumeric code, a custom numeric code or a four digit numeric code which changes it back to the four digit. Obviously it's less secure that way, but if that's what you wanna do, you can. And you wanna enter something secure I just put in zeros and you can see whenever you put in a passcode that's not very secure, it'll prompt you to choose something better. But just for this example, we're gonna choose that simple passcode. You wanna choose something better, obviously. Now this stage here, again, you can choose how you wanna set up the iPad Pro and you can choose to restore it from an iCloud backup. So if you have iCloud already, restore from a Mac or PC, transfer directly from an iPad, move data from Android or don't transfer apps and data. You wanna choose the one that best fits what you're doing and then follow those steps. We're gonna to choose to set this up completely manually. So we're gonna say don't transfer. If you choose one of those options, a lot of what I show is still going to be relevant for you, but uh, we'll go this route. So you're gonna enter in your Apple ID. If you don't, and this is your first time using an iOS or Apple device, you can tap forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. And then you can tap create a free Apple ID right here and it'll go through the steps of creating a new Apple ID. But we have one and I believe most of us would have one at this point. So you're just going to enter the email address associated with your Apple ID and then tap next. And now you're going to enter in the password for your Apple ID and then tap next again. Now, depending on your settings, you're going to be prompted to verify this instance of your Apple ID. So you're just gonna tap allow on that other device it'll pop up with a code and you're gonna enter that code right there. And then the terms and service will pop up. You can read through all of these and tap agree when you're ready. Just give it a minute here to set up your Apple ID. Now from this page is just letting you know for me personally that it's going to set up my iPad Pro here based off of my other iPad. Now if you never had an iPad, you may not get this message, but all the settings and options will be transferred over. If you don't wanna use these, you can tap customize down here and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through all of these options. So we'll tap continue here to keep everything up to date. The location services, so if you are using maps and things like that, you can enable these services and then you can choose which applications will be allowed to use those locations, how they'll be able to, et cetera, in your settings later. Apple Pay here, I'm not going to set this up. There's just too much personal information, but you can, so you can pay for things with your iPad if you're on the go or even on websites, but we'll set that up later. And Siri is here to help as well as your personal assistant. So if you wanna use Siri with your iPad, you can tap continue. This page is just telling you that if you share the audio recordings, they'll help improve Siri and dictation. I choose not 
to share my recordings. Screen time here is also a great feature. I'm not gonna get into this and we're not gonna set it up. You can check this card right here to learn how to use screen time. It's very beneficial if you find you use your electronic devices too much. It'll help you to sort of track how you're using it and even set time limits. So we'll tap set up later in settings. iPad analytics, again, I'm not going to share this with Apple. You can choose to share it if you'd like. And now you can set up your appearance, either light or dark. You can choose whichever one you like. And again, you can change this later on in settings. Let's just go with dark mode this time. I've used light mode a bunch of times with my videos. So we're done here. We'll tap get started. And now we have access to our new iPad Pro. And there's a lot of cool features built into this iPad, like stage manager, so you can really take advantage of multitask. And we'll open up our notes. And I'm gonna actually resize this note just like this. I'm gonna open Safari here, so I'll drag that one in, and I'm gonna show you a way that you can use this and multitask together. So we've got the iPad OS 16 page here, but let's say we had our notepad, we wanted to drag some of this information. We're gonna work with this one. I'm just gonna highlight the text, so let's just highlight some of this text here and drag it down. Let's say we wanted to move it here, we can just tap, drag, and now we're in this note here. We just give it a second tap so we can get into that specific app. We can let go. It's gonna paste that right in there. So if you're working on something, maybe you have schoolwork, you have like Microsoft Word or something open, you can be playing around and dragging things back and forth. It'll really improve your productivity with what you're doing. Additionally, like I said, you can make one larger, one smaller. So if you're reading off one and you're copying and pasting over another just to get your notes in, that's a good way to do that as well. If you want a full screen at all, any time, you can always drag like this. Now another feature with your stage manager is to create app groups that'll be sitting in your little task manager or sidebar here. And the way that works is pretty simple. You're just going to tap on an application and what it does is it pushes those two applications you are working with and creates this little group. Now you can work on something here. So let's say we were checking emails or whatever, and we also wanted to listen to some music. And then we wanted to go back to our notes here. We, you've got the camera that when you're in FaceTime calls, it'll follow you. It's really cool and there's a lot to learn. So if you are looking to learn more about your iPad Pro, definitely check out the link in the description to the full playlist. I'll be teaching you guys how to do pretty much everything with these iPads so that way you get the most out of them. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. But this was how to set up the iPad Pro. And as always, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more great videos like this, and click the bell notification box so you're notified as soon as I post a new tutorial on these iPads so you don't miss a video. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.